The city of Braunschweig in Lower Saxony has a long tradition as a commercial center, but unemployment is on the rise here as well and recently hit nearly 10%. In Braunschweig, they have their own recipe for fighting the crisis, cooperation instead of competition. For years, companies in Braunschweig have been working closely together. They founded a mechanical engineering cooperative, KIM. It's proven itself more than useful during the crisis. Of course, we've also had fewer orders at our companies, everything from 5 to 50 percent drops. That's a huge range. So we're trying to even it up by exchanging contracts within our cooperative. There's no sign of the downturn yet at the Zollern BHW company. Production at the plant is still going full tilt with three shifts every day round the clock. The company produces ball bearings for engines and generates annual sales of 67 million euros. They already have enough orders to see them through to next year. When a worker at the plant is absent, the plant manager can call in a replacement from one of the other companies in the cooperative. I contact the company and request one or two workers with specific qualifications, someone who can operate a particular machine. When the shift starts at 6 the next morning, I've got a fully qualified worker who doesn't need much training. That doesn't happen with temporary help from outside. The 24-year-old Marcus Muller is one of the temporary workers. He's a technician who knows how to operate computer-controlled milling machines. Normally, it's a sought-after skill, but the downturn has meant a slump in demand. I was working reduced hours, and sometimes I didn't have any work at all. Because I was still on probation when the economic crisis started, I normally would have been one of the first to be let go. At Marcus Miller's employer a few kilometers away, the economic crisis has hit hard. Sales have plunged by a quarter and there's not enough work to go around. Mr. Miller worked the afternoon shift, but right now we only have enough work for a single shift. So we've got to lend out our workers within the KIM cooperative or reduce our hours. The company has had to lay off some workers. Not all of them had the necessary qualifications and pay categories to be lent out. The workers here at the half-empty plant are worried about what lies ahead. The economic crisis is serious and will feel the effect. We're all thinking we could get laid off any day, so it's quite tense here. It's not just the workers on the factory floor who are worried. The boss is also looking for ways to cut costs. The electricity bill, for example, runs a hefty 4,000 euros a month. The cooperative might also be able to provide some assistance here as well. We want to buy power along with 12 other KIM partners. We can get a better price if we buy in bulk. Saving 500 euros a month would make a big difference. So you'd pressure the supplier together? Right. Cooperation is not only effective in boom times, but can provide benefits even during a slump. The organizers are developing plans to expand the cooperative after the crisis ends. The long-term goal is creating a virtual factory. With all the mechanical engineering companies here, we've got a big collection of skills. And if we market our skills together, we can win contracts for the region. So if one of the companies in our group wins an order and subcontracts parts of the work to other companies here, together we'd be able to provide a final product to our clients. These mid-sized companies in Braunschweig are hoping to compete on the global market. With the engineering cooperative, the companies here are off to a good start.